conference will now be recorded. Uh, I worked in, uh, I mean, uh, in the industry, uh, okay. uh, like uh, different technology. A lot of background noise is there. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I worked in like, you know, dot net, Java databases and all those things. My, the thing is that last three, four years, I'm not working. Mm -hmm. I'm into different things, but now I'm planning to see if I can get back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, idea means I know it's a case management tool where you can rapidly develop applications and uh, the designer studio will do all the coding for you on the behind the scene. Oh, and quickly you can deploy the applications and things. Uh, that's all I know. I don't know anything else. Okay. Right. So let's look into more uh, about this feedback. So, so uh, as you said, uh, you know, uh, it is going to generate uh, its own code. Uh, but this Pega application, uh, we popularly call it as uh, PRPC, okay? So right. Pega, which right. Process right. Commander. And this is uh, completely designed by using the Java program. Yeah, that much I know, yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, this particular tool is designed uh, by Java. So, um, are we going to learn complete uh, Java core or advanced or any other stuff in Java? So not required to learn anything. Right. So, there are uh, new uh, techniques or technologies or tools coming in, okay, day to day in Java also. Right. Uh, to bring, uh, I mean, for developer uh, make code easy, okay. But uh, we are not necessary to learn the Java programming language here. Okay. Right, 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 right. So certain scenarios uh, that is required, but uh, it's very less. Okay, you can say that the entire project may be uh, the Java development may be five percent. Okay. And yeah, I, know, I do know um, uh, Java. I worked in the Java. Right. Even, yeah. I know up to yes. latest Java. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if Java is there, that is added advantages. Uh, where, uh, where is? Suppose a customer. Suppose uh, we are uh, designing one application. Okay. So before starting the development itself, uh, uh, our architects are who is going to. Uh, right, right. Na Naresh, Naresh, uh, quick uh, thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have some uh, ceiling fan or table fan going behind you or something? No, nothing. Just no. What about Ashok? I think maybe Ashok. How is it now? No, it is still same. I can hear. Yeah, it's bit... my my side. I'm in mute, sir. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, now it is I better. Mean... Now I don't hear anything. Okay. But it's keep coming. I don't know what is that. That's okay. It's a mission sound or anything. Oh, your computer. Okay. Laptop sound. Yeah, yeah right. that's okay. No, no problem. I can live with that. And okay. may I know a little bit about your background, Naresh, if you don't mind? Yeah, so actually, I, <clears throat> I worked for Pega last uh, nine years, okay? Okay. I have uh, overall around 11 years experience in IT. Okay. So, last nine years, I was working for Pega. So, I work for the JPMC now. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah. So, um, that's all I can share with Pega. So, I... Working as an architect, okay. Not right, 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 right. Okay. So I have completed multiple certifications in architecture. Right, so. right, 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 right. So uh, coming back, 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 back. So coming back to our Pega, uh, uh, right? So as I said, yeah. uh, this is uh, designed by Java. So it, it is good, uh, you know, if one is having the Java knowledge. Uh, as I said, see in the requirement gathering itself. Um, Okay, so customer is going to provide a lot of requirements, right? So as an architect, what we will do, we will design the solution, right? Right. So right. while designing the solution, uh, our architect is going to clearly mention in the uh, SOW that what is uh, what we can achieve uh, using Pega, uh, what we cannot achieve using Pega. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that table clearly specified in the SOW. So what we used to do, we are going to tell the customer that uh, so this particular uh, scenarios or uh, requirement we cannot achieve using the uh, Pega tool uh, since it is required some customizations by using the 
uh, some other technology like java so to, to say that okay. you need to know in and out of pega right otherwise you won't be able to say yeah right? so yes so that is taken care by the architects okay so okay. we are not bothered about uh, so okay okay so at the time of the uh, um, sow acceptance right uh, so that time we used, we used to tell so we will only do whatever that is uh, achievable using the pega so there is no question of writing the java Got it. So still right. Um, uh, let's say if customer still wanted uh, AI, we also need that kind of a requirement. Uh, so okay. then, right. So then, uh, if one, if if uh, like you, someone knows Java, so they can accept that, and uh, you know, you can get more business from the customer. Correct. And that is added advantages for the developer if one right. is having the Java along with the Pega, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing. So here. Um, um, this particular PRPC, right? As you said, it's a case management, uh, okay? So tool, okay, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. you can actually uh, do, do, do um, due diligence of the particular process, okay? Mm -hmm. So where actually we are going to use this application is uh, Pega tool is uh, uh, different sectors uh, we are going to use. One of the important uh, or uh, primary uh, usage in the banking area okay mm -hmm. and uh, another thing is that uh, insurance okay mm -hmm. and uh, healthcare is uh, okay so and uh, uh, another uh, thing is the pharma and uh, HR uh, shared services okay and uh, financial services okay and uh, we have energy systems right like oil and gas, so, so they, are, mm. they are going to also <clears throat> create some cases. So there are many other uh, sectors, right. but even nowadays they are using in government also. Yeah, yeah. So uh, one of the important thing again here is uh, PRPC. We are going to use to build applications for the BPM related applications, uh, mm. as well as the CRM based applications. Okay. okay. Earlier, they don't have the CRM uh, implementation actually. Okay. Mm, mm. So last, uh, I mean, last couple of years, they are also designed application. Okay. Mm. To achieve the CRM based applications also. Okay. So if you look at the banking, right? So if I give roughly, if you take the uh, uh, in the world like top ten banks, if you take, so, okay, top eight banks are uh, using the Pega right. loan right. 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 to process uh, their data. Yes. So we know that uh, why we are using the BPM. BPM is kind of a methodology, okay? It is nothing else. So what is this methodology is tells about is uh, whatever that uh, data that you are daily receiving right into the system. So we need to actually have a mechanism to process the data automatically, like a workflow concept. Okay. Okay. So using workflows, we are going to automate the data, whatever the data that organizations uh, receives daily, okay, uh, mm -hmm. to give uh, some response, to give some output to the um, business, mm -hmm. okay. So you can say business process for management of okay. Mm -hmm. So in the banking, in the banking, we are seeing such kind of flow data, right? So every day in the banking system, so there is so much of data uh, they are receiving it, right? Right. So they cannot handle that particular data manually. With mm. manpower, they cannot do it right. Correct. So they wanted uh, some certain system to automate that data and uh, giving back to the I mean, give back responses. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. So such kind of uh, systems so we can design by using the uh, Pega actually. Okay. So suppose if you take the applications like uh, credit cards, okay. So daily in the banking system for a particular organization right they used to get thousands of uh, requests mm. right across mm. the world so they cannot go and uh, uh, take that request and handle that request manually correct right? so mm -hmm. earlier we saw that uh, suppose if you are uh, see uh, how we are placing the request in the with the bank if you are going for the uh, credit card mm. so there are different modes either we used to call them or sometimes they used to call us right or mm. we used to send an email to them. Okay. Either way, actually, we are placing a request for the credit card, right? Okay. So similarly, there are a number of uh, users are going to place the request. So how they used to handle earlier? So they used to send one agent to uh, your uh, nearest place. Or they'll take the appointment and they'll send you, right? 
agent mm. and agent comes with the earlier papers and they used to fill us they used to sign it so and they say that uh, sir uh, today night we are going to log uh, this particular uh, right. case and uh, you will receive sms later uh, tomorrow uh, later what happened uh, they used to bring the tabs to home directly right mm. so what they used to do they used to come up with uh, one tab and they will take all the requests there and they will take your photo and documents scan documents and everything and immediately they will uh, create a ticket there request mm. case mm -hmm. so it has become something uh, you know they changed it right earlier it is a manual and they somehow they they are bringing directly the system to you but mm -hmm. now you know uh, you know when you if you want the loan request right you will straight away go to their uh, uh, site or you fill up the form immediately yeah, yeah. You will know, yeah. right mm -hmm. so you will get to know that whether you are um, eligible or not later mm -hmm. process starts but at least you will get to know whether you are eligible or not right mm -hmm. because they can uh, uh, get the i mean they can actually get the approval whether uh, this particular user can get the credit card or not Mm -hmm. right. So, mm -hmm. because uh, they have designed a system where they can check a lot of information on the spot and give you the result itself. So, the computer itself will make a decision without even right. more yes. interaction. So, now you are at the right place. The decision making is happening at the PRPC level. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, making the decisions like on the policies earlier, okay, manually some manager or uh, someone is going to verify, right, and they can make the decision. Okay. So instead of a human or uh, okay, uh, manually making the decision here, everything we are going to integrate into the system. Right. Okay, the decision making is going to, uh, because the organization is going to give us the uh, whatever the uh, decision points, right. So mm. they are going to provide us the logic, mm. how you can make the decision. So we will, as a developer, we are going to make that particular development and uh, integrate into the system so that whenever the request comes, automatically system uh, handles and manipulates it. Mm -hmm. And it's give immediately to the response to the, uh, the person. Okay. So that much uh, automation you can uh, design by using the PRPC. Okay. If you take personal loan, mortgage loan, right, home loans and mm -hmm. fraud, investigation, there are mm -hmm. so many things, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in their areas, uh, you can use the PRPC. So, any business use case you take end to end, you can automate it using the rules right. under... Um, uh... Exactly. Okay. So, we are going to design the rules and we are going to actually uh, automate those particular rules by integrating everything into the... Um, workflow. Oh, got it. Okay. Yes. In the back end, workflow is going to take in here by the end-to-end -end process. Mm -hmm. Similarly, insurance also, we have lots of process, right? So, mm. uh, if you take the drug investigation, so there is a lot of uh, things will be mm. there. So, mm. uh, health care, we know, right? Pharma, mm. HR services, nowadays, right? Mm. Uh, in a larger uh, HR, uh, I mean, uh, larger organizations, they cannot go for manually, right? So yeah, everything, yeah. they are going to have uh, the applications for internal employees. Everything mm. is automated. So no need to go back to the HR or some other department. Right, right. Okay. Mm. So financial services also, there are lots of uh, decisions happening, right, for your mm. uh, uh, mm. yearly budget and all. So. Right, Suppose right. You, you want to claim something, your reimbursement and all. So you don't have to tell anybody. Just make the approval automated. And mm. then uh, uh, reimbursement also um, happens at the right time. Mm. Your, uh, mm. Right. Mm. So there also they will be using an energy like uh, oil and gas uh, companies, mm. right? So, mm. Um, mm. For example, they are also going to have a lot of requests, right? Uh, uh, mm. You can say that. Correct. So, all these scenarios and even more uh, we can uh, uh, i mean many organizations you know uh, we can use it. Mm. Now, the ultimate goal is wherever uh, there is a lots of business data and uh, you wanted to automate that particular data so we can mm. use actually uh, prpc tool mm. 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 all right so nowadays you know a uh, lots of um, companies right whatever let's say earlier uh, we used to do the same thing using mainframe also right okay so earlier we used to do a lot of things by using some of the SAP tools also. 
so what we are doing is uh, what uh, you know uh, the particular vendors are doing so they are now switching to the pega because uh, if you look at the main term right the almost uh, main term is uh, dead right yeah, so yeah many of them are moving to the uh, pega now right Wherever, uh, you can uh, uh, integrate that particular thing uh, to the Pega. So lots of uh, existing mainframe system, SAP systems are now moving to the Pega. Mm -hmm. And earlier we used to have lots of tools by using the individual tools itself. Mm -hmm. Right? Organizations have might have developed using Java, .NET and all, right? Mm -hmm. So to maintain and manage uh, those particular uh, tools, right? So they need the developers. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what now uh, the vendors are doing, they are, they are actually migrating to the Pega. Okay. Maybe earlier, we don't have this kind of tools, right? So mm -hmm. they might have uh, designed uh, applications separately for their organizations by using right. Java or .NET. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. to maintain and manage that particular <laughs> thing, the developers. So what now they are doing is right. Uh, so they are moving to the Pega. So that's why we are seeing nowadays uh, lots of Pega business actually. Mm -hmm. So earlier Pega also there, you know, it, it was uh, it's not a new tool. It was uh, since the 30 years actually. Mm -hmm. But earlier they don't have uh, that much, uh, you know, uh, capable uh, tool to mm -hmm. uh, automate everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any mm -hmm. other tool, it's also doing a certain automation, but uh, lots of uh, uh, customization is there. Still, mm -hmm. people used to know Java and JavaScript, uh, any other scripting language. So, someone should be strong in the programming side, mm -hmm. even in Pega also. So, later stages, they made it very simple mm -hmm. without uh, making a code changes. So, you can design complete uh, application by using the Pega tool. Okay. Okay. So, a lot of things uh, you can integrate actually, like any other. Uh, so in Java, right, you can do any kind of integration, right? Rest, no. So okay. SAP or whatever the so, integration. Uh, Naresh, are you going to take one, any use case and uh, walk me through by end of the course? Yeah, yeah. We are daily taking one use case, OK? OK. Our practical is completely, I mean, our training is completely. Uh, you are going to make me do, right? So I need to get some hands on. Right, right. OK. okay. Okay. So I will be showing the end to end. Okay, some use cases daily we used to take on a particular scenario. Okay. And I'll show you the input and output. Okay. But but you make sure that I I do it right. Yeah yeah. The, what you have to do <laughs> will be sharing that. Because when you do it, it will be very easy. <laughs> yes, that's uh, true. <laughs> right. Okay. So any kind of integration uh, that you can do, okay, uh, whatever the integration uh, mechanism is there, uh, okay, like uh, SOAP, RIOS, SAP, or uh, whatever it is. Okay. And uh, even more simple here, it's a simple wizard based, okay, so you don't have to write any code or anything. Right. Okay? Okay. So, so we have some wizard uh, where we need to um, mm. Uh, mm. choose some data and automatically system generates uh, that kind of a rules actually. Okay. Okay. So even in database uh, side, you can connect with any system, any DB system. So there is mm -hmm. no restriction like uh, this tool only connects with that database and all. Okay. So whatever uh, databases that we have in this real world, so you can actually uh, work with that. Okay. Okay. So what okay. Pega is going to do is one thing, uh, right? So customer is going to, I mean, might might be using different databases, right? So one might be already using SQL Server. Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. Another one may be using Oracle. So what Pega does is, they will be giving you the DB file uh, that particular mode, actually. Okay. Okay. So because Pega don't know right which uh, customer is using which right. DB server. Right. right. So at the time of the I mean purchase of their uh, product, right? So okay. Customer is going, I mean Pega is going to ask the customer that uh, what sort of DB you are using. So they will give to the business that that, that particular DB file. Because okay. Pega is a predefined, I mean, the application is already exist, right? So there mm. may be DB mm. also already. Mm, 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 mm. There may be hundreds of tables. Okay, mm. so they need to restore all the DB into uh, the target mission, right? Oh, so what you're saying is that you design the system and all the database is already there in the Pega. Right, right. And when you migrate to customer, it will ask which database they have. And you say, I have a DB2 or Oracle. 
it automatically migrates all this data on the table, schema, metadata, right. everything into right. their database. Right. Is that is right? That's what right. You are right. Okay. Right. So that is taken care by the uh, infrastructure team. Okay. So we don't we need to worry about that. Okay? Correct. Correct. So mm -hmm. what we need to do when you come to the development side, right? Uh, we need mm -hmm. to know what sort of what is the DB name that they have here. So even database connections, queries, no need mm -hmm. to write that way. Got because uh, at the time of the installation itself, they might, they are going to configure it. Okay. Okay. So as a developer, we don't have to connect the database or write queries and all. So Pega is designing such a way that. Okay. Okay. Even you no need to write any simple SQL command also. Okay. 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 So the thing uh, we can make it work with the Pega itself without okay. writing any commands. Okay. Okay. So that is uh, one other thing. Uh, um, and here, right, uh, the security mechanism also uh, built in. So you don't have to any, uh, create any security tool or uh, right mm -hmm. because uh, it's a process oriented right it's mm -hmm. a business purpose so there are uh, uh, different uh, level of users are using this particular applications right mm -hmm. if you take the banking okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. suppose the agent is having one level of access right Correct. Um, suppose uh, and the next uh, level, maybe some manager will be there and they have a certain level of access. Right, and right, right. roles and accesses. Right. Okay. So, yeah. such a, so such kind of security mechanism, we can manage uh, by using the Pega itself. Right, right, right. right. Simple, okay. It's a simple uh, screens are there where you can easily manage the security part. Mm, mm, mm. That is like a Pega administrator, they do that, right? Right, right, right. There is no Pega administrator, separate Pega administrator and all. So okay. as a developer, we can do that. That's not a problem. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to have a separate administration knowledge and all. Mm -hmm. That is what, uh, right? It's very simple tool only. Mm -hmm. So, and the main ultimate goal of this particular system is, right? Um, so using Pega, we are going to design the uh, robust and uh, very good performance based applications. Okay. That Mm. Okay, and uh, and one speciality about this tool is right. Uh, uh, user can easily maintain and manage, so they Correct. don't need to go back to every time to the developer and ask what is that, what is this, can you do this, can you do that. Oh. So user can maintain and manage after the development up to okay. certain level. Okay. Okay. Wherever, uh, maintenance is easy. Yeah. Yeah. The, if there is no technical portion, mm. 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 suppose let's say they want to create. Um, one user okay so they don't need to come back to us they can mm -hmm. actually work mm -hmm. suppose mm -hmm. they want to change some logo they want to change some label name somewhere mm -hmm. they want to display certain messages okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. for these things a user don't need to come to developer every time okay 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 so mm -hmm. there are certain certifications here in Pega mainly mm -hmm. uh, those certifications were uh, different uh, uh, kind of users. Let's say as a developer, right? We have different mm. certifications. From mm. the business perspective, they have also their certifications. Okay. Because they need to know the Pega process end to end. Mm. From mm. business perspective. Mm. Right. A business analyst is having the certifications because they need to know what can be achieved, what can be So they achieved. talk to customer and they relate to Pega system, right? The right. So, mm. Yes. So in the business user side, uh, we will be giving the training to the some of the business users. Okay. For example, let's say certain rules, right? They are going to change continuously. Mm -hmm. Simple, uh, I'll give you, suppose in the insurance application, right? So they are going to introduce a lot of products, right? So they, are, they need to add those products to the their system. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they don't need to come back to our uh, developer. So they themselves can uh, add the particular things. But before that, we will be giving the training how to add and Yes, so because the Pega screens are that simple. Mm -hmm. OK, so certain uh, areas the user directly can easily understand without technical mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Suppose, uh, let's say, uh, some store manager is there. So they regularly want to change the discounts, right? Mm -hmm. so, they don't need to come back to the developer. They can uh, so store manager is given certain level of access, so they can actually modify that uh, percentage. Okay. Okay. 
okay. so automatically system self takes that values mm -hmm. so those don't need any uh, technical uh, skills so mm -hmm. like, it's easy for them so they don't need to go back to every time the uh, dv yeah. or someone mm -hmm. so that much uh, uh, easy that particular mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so business also can save a lot of money right so if you have your own uh, manpower, so you can do with your uh, resource. Mm -hmm. So don't need to go back to the uh, developer. And uh, so if, if something goes for the developer, uh, so mm -hmm. ultimately developer is going to charge, right? For that right. particular thing. Right, right. They can save money and time and all, this, all these things. Mm -hmm. And the moreover here is, right, in the Pega, but, uh, right, but there are lots of frameworks also. Mm -hmm. See. Banking, for example, let's say credit card application, if we take simple. Mm. Now, what our organization will go, so right, many requests might be coming, right? Suppose uh, SBI asked us to do credit card application, okay. and ICIC asked us to do credit card uh, application development, HDFC asked us to do his, uh, credit card application development. Mm -hmm. So we cannot go and uh, do the application development from scratch, right? So do as one an organization, for yes. as an organization, right? Our management is going to design one framework, a okay. generic one, and you right. configure it. Right. So what we will do? We will just sell that framework to the SDI. We will directly sell that to the ICI, HDFC. Mm -hmm. And uh, that particular framework, right, is going to match up to the eighty percent, ninety percent. Right. Okay. Definitely, mm. uh, SBI, ICICI, HDFC is having different kind of a policies, right, in certain Correct. areas. Mm. So we can just give the quotation that particular portion, and uh, we will develop that one. All right. Okay. So because uh, uh, their business, right, don't need to wait to till the application delivered, right? They can use right. straight away. Mm. So once I sell it, uh, they can directly use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe the uh, letter. Uh, we might be doing some certain changes, but later we can integrate that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So business no need to wait uh, till we uh, customize and give back to the customer. Okay. okay. So such kind of framework, right? In the real world, every organization, like suppose, um, let's say if some TCS is there, they have so many frameworks for certain businesses. Mm -hmm. So whenever uh, someone reaches there, right, uh, they'll give a quotation. This is a I mm. have this particular framework, so this framework is going to do this. This, if you mm. want, you can go for demo, or uh, uh, you know, if you like it, uh, we'll give the quotation. Mm. So, yes. such right. kind of uh, framework, right? So, so many organizations used to develop TCS oh, in right. CL, right? Because mm. they have the developers, so they can do anything, mm. and they have lots of specialization in business people also, like mm -hmm. business analysts. So. Everyone is going to design the framework with advanced, uh, innovative uh, features. Okay. Okay. So such a way. As a developer, we are going to develop the frameworks. We are going to uh, do the customization, configurations for existing systems and all the mm. so business actually use. Mm. And focus is like you know, Pega is having actually next ten years is the focus. I mean, uh, you can say. Mm. Uh, Focus. Okay. So mm. next ten years, the guy is going to do very good. Mm. And as a developer, we have different certifications. Okay. Uh, CSA is there, certified system architect, and certified senior system architect, and LSA one, LSA two, mm. lead system architect. Mm. So CSA is the developer. Okay. In mm. simple mm. terminology, CSSA is a senior developer, mm. and uh, lead right. Architects, what we can say. Okay. Lead so developer, right? Yeah. Lead mm. system architect. Mm. Okay. So different level of, and the BA also there are certain certificates. So we don't require, but for BA also mm. there is certification. So from business mm. perspective, there are some certifications. Mm. Mm. So for their role, uh, they are going to do certain certifications. So obviously, uh, depending on this right certifications, so you are mm. uh, pay also like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because customer is going to specifically ask, uh, I need this kind of role. So okay. you'll be paid like that. Okay. Mm. So that's all I can say here. Uh, mm -hmm. If you 
any information so you can ask no i mean i'm good i mean i really like uh, the way you're explaining uh, so how is your timings naresh or what the, what kind of time you can help me to See, i heard that uh, you are looking for the evening i mean in a uh, in a ist time right so yeah uh, i mean uh, weekdays weekends how does it works for you so uh, for me i need uh, some time during uh, you know uh, morning i am not a very late person mm -hmm. so a lot of people you know they will, they will be awake until midnight i <laughs> too late mm -hmm. for me that i can't do that so mm -hmm. i'm like more like a morning person i can uh, either no, like morning is... or until you know until 6 7 30 8 o'clock is fine and afterwards is a problem see i can do 6 to 7 that's not a problem that is not a problem 6 to 7 uh, uh, like us time right no 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 india ah. india time uh, which morning or evening uh today you joined right the same time 